Mm. If you told me that Chelsea were going to finish sixth this year, and I slapped you in the face, I said, stop lying to me. Is that a bottle? <laughs> crazy. Ah, crazy. The only trophy I still believe crazy. this season. Crazy. 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 It's a good day to live. That's not knowing it. Actually, there's no difference between Poch in his first five years and Arteta in his first five years. This man got knocked out of the Champions League by a war, a mm. B-Tech Bayern Munich team. Then I hear the names that they want to, they come and come and want to replace Poch with. Kieran McKenna, good manager, is Ipswich, you know, double um, promotion, I don't care. And then the third name was Thomas Frank. I like Thomas Frank and his manager, don't get me wrong. But for Chelsea, stay away, my friend. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the DES Sports Podcast. I am here with Sam and Eddie. Oh, you thought I forgot your name. Nah, I just thought that you might talk. But anyways, <laughs> welcome back to another episode, guys. Hola, como esta? Alpha, 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 alpha. Abio. Guys, what a day, what an hour. What a way to live life. What a way to live life. Where do we start? So much has actually happened this week. So we're recording this on Thursday. Today's Thursday. Today's Thursday. I know. Oh, what, going Yay. what happened to Wednesday? Yeah, oh, what true. happened? To, what happened on Sunday? <laughs> What's that there? Is that a bottle? <laughs> crazy. Uh, crazy. The only trophy I still believe crazy. this season. Crazy. 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 Any guys, guys, welcome back once again. And <laughs> crazy. <laughs> let's get started. Well, obviously, we're gonna start from one place, one place alone. Sunday. Where do we start? Like, do we start with the fact that they started again with the whole thing when I said, we're going to win the league. They somehow thought that West Ham would go to the Etihad. Do you know where the Etihad is? That's not for small boys. You know, you know, I saw, I saw a TikToker. It's, it's that, that guy, especially. He posted like, he was, he put, you know that mysterious music and all of that. He put all of that. Man City will be will lose to West Ham in the Etihad on the date wherever, and Arsenal will win two one against Wolves. Or is that what they are playing? Abby? No, they were playing Everton. Everton, whatever. And, and they only lost. And they only lost. Then because I just like I was because I was I wasn't watching I wasn't watching any matches until I after like ten minutes or something. Then I was I was like, home let me check the score. Then I saw within one minute folding score. I was like. I said game over. I just said second it was minute it minute was raps from that first game goal. Over. Even David Moore is a prick. Why? Why did you put five back? You know he's a, he's an up low. He try yeah. he made you try to make he sure that want, they lose. He want them to win. Ah, he's an up. I don't I don't care. I don't care. It's a good day to live. Arsenal not winning. I actually didn't. I thought they would. I thought it wouldn't go the way it. So I thought Arsenal would pull it. Well, my friend disappeared. What was that? What was all that rubbish that I spewed? I thought they would do it because the the. the how they were playing this year in comparison to how they were playing last year is very different. Okay, like okay. Last year they literally burst on. People weren't expecting them to play as well they did play as they played, mm-hmm. and obviously they were feeling very cocky arrogant. But mm-hmm. they still, at the end of the day, they fell short. They really did bottle it. This year, it wasn't. It was more mature the way they handled everything. They still, they still lost. But I, I had. Are you sure they were more mature? Listen, I listen, do listen. think they were more you mature. You don't, you don't Let's see what they were post. Some of them were posting. No, I'm not. I'm seeing like the team's performance and strictly the team's performance. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought you meant as them. they were coming up was very, very much more, um, much more um, mature in how they were handling things. They, were, they, you could see it like before, like compared to how they were playing last year, there was just more experience about them. Okay, the, dif- the difference between last year and this year, right? Last year they bought a butter a butter knife to fight a lion. This year they had a normal knife to fight a lion. They if you have Kai Havertz as your main striker against Erlen Haaland, I'm sorry, you're not gonna win anything. I'll be so real. If you like listen, right? he's not lying. You you can't you can you can't go you can't that that's bringing a knife to a gunfight. You can't do it. You are bring a half Senchenko as a left back. You're not going to win the league. No matter what they say, they bottled it. I said it before, because I, I was thinking about it, I was saying to the boys, it's not a bottle jar because, oh, because they, they played as well as they could. But when you think about it, they lost to M- Aston Villa at home. They didn't even lost to Aston Villa back to back, right? They went to the Etihad and had the shamelessness of putting 11 niggas behind the, ba- behind, behind the whole halfway line, right? Against City, where City had injuries. They had, they, they had mad injuries as well. Kai Walker wasn't playing. I don't know. If, I don't know who else. I don't was, think Diaz was back that much. I don't think Diaz was. was I playing. don't even think the brain the was. The brain was still injured that match. Um, so then, when you look at that, I'm like, why didn't they go for that match? Because they didn't have. They didn't have much. Like they didn't have. They they could have bet City if they went for it, but they didn't. And then Roger said it's a mentality thing. It is. It is. It is from day it one. It is. 
I don't understand. I'm not lying. You know what it is, yeah? And I said, I think I've seen this a bit a while ago. I think we were talking on the phone. I was like, do you not realize when sit? it doesn't matter. You never see these players going online and bragging, putting up gifts of them dancing, the specific one that was doing it, tweeting, doing all this shit. City players just understand. It's not over to the final day. Yeah. And that's the problem with Arsenal, I feel. It's, they you're going it's against a team that always go to the final day. Mm. It doesn't matter how bad they're doing. There was a time I remember in one of the seasons that City were eight. Yeah. yeah and they yeah. came back to win the fucking league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand. <laughs> Trent Alexander Arnold explains City in the best way ever. City are like a barking dog from far away. And they keep getting closer and closer and closer. And the back is getting louder and louder and louder. So the back catches up with you and overtakes you. You know, City are like using bots. Using bots can have a bad start, but uh, we all know it's going to win the race. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's just the thing. That's fair. That's I think fair. for Arsenal to be the... I hate to say this. For Arsenal to be the team they want to be, they have to understand that it's not over to the final day. I know the manager might say, and people might say, but when your players are going tweeting of them dancing, you know that you know that um thing that I think it's one. Of, I don't know what concert it is. I think it's when I don't know if you ever seen like it's like a meme that someone is like dancing and like there's a crowd and like hey hey I don't know if you ever seen it. Uh, I don't it know. Can have to tweet it with his face. Oh basically. yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was the your team's one. Mm, that's yeah, the one yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with his face when I think when the best and I was like. This is exactly why you don't win because you have the mentality. Of, I understand in your head you have to be a winner, but like and like it's that saying, and I don't think that those players take it literally. It's not over till the final day yeah. or until it's actually said that you are the champions and no one can catch up with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah the thing is, they, they can't have a winner's mentality because they haven't won anything. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> You weren't here for the last episode, were you? No, I've been here in a, in a little bit. It's like I'm doing a guest appearance. <laughs> so, so what do you think about my crazy, crazy um thing I said? About Poch. About what? Poch and Arteta. Yo, you said the fact that you... I um, said that, that if Arteta does not win, win this, the, this, season, this season, there's nothing surprising him and Poch. Poch. I'm going to get that off for you while you're thinking about that. Hello? What are the metrics like we're using... Yeah, or are you just saying opinion wise? No, factually. Factually, yeah. If you're going to co- comparing Poch's Spurs, yeah, to Arsenal, okay, what is the difference? And uh, you know what? I'll I'll pull it to what the um, Atlanta manager I can't I can't remember his name, um, Gasson Gassonia or some pardon pardon the butchering, but I pulled up what he said. He said that. Why do we use these metrics that for trophies to determine whether a team is great or whether a team like to prove that a team has done well? And mind you, people only care that, that about that quote because um, I'm I'm paraphrasing, but they only care because I didn't he won the trophy. But he's saying that it's not a really good metric to really use. Teams can be playing really good because we can, we, no matter how much we don't like them, we can uh, we can say that Arsenal play good football. No, mm-hmm, they did. They play good football, and from the way they perform, the way they play, you can see with just uh, movements here and there, like with just a quality difference, just put in maybe two or three players, maybe even a different manager. Who knows? Yeah, that there's not that much of a gap between them and that next level as a team. I would say, me, yeah, that would be that. I think that's a fair, a fair assessment. Yeah. But to now go and say that, I, if with that in mind, to now go and say that him and Poch, that's harsh. I think that's very harsh. Why? I think that I think that's very very. But why? <laughs> what do you mean? But well, I'm asking you. But why? But how do we assess the Premier League? Well, the Premier League in and of itself, yeah. Because what I exactly said in the first five years, remember what I exactly said. I said if there's no difference between Poch in his first five years and Arteta in his first five years, from uh, at Chelsea or at when he was at Spurs. When he was at Spurs. Don't even at Chelsea. Oh, when when he was at Spurs. Yeah. You talk. You thought we're talking, oh, about talking, about talking, about talking about Chelsea. No. My friend, come on, shut up. I said Poch's first five years at Spurs compared to Arteta's first five years. There's no difference, and my reasoning behind this was one: the guy spent less money. Mm-hmm. Number two, he challenged for the league twice. Number three, he got to a Champions League final. Number four, he only had 127 million, and number five, for what he had, he created one of the best things we're going to see in the. In one of the best teams. Not or maybe not even top ten. Okay. But I'm talking about in the last okay. if you're talking about top twenty teams, Poch's team is there. 
Pochettino po- 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 is the one that had Dele. Touch team. We actually uh, looked at this. It was a bit crazy. It was Vertonghen, Alderweireld, yeah, yeah. Danny Rose, Kyle Walker, okay. Moussa Dembele, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric, uh, Dyer. Eric Dyer. Erickson was playing. Erickson was playing. Son, Dele Alli. Son, Son, Dele Alli. Lucas Moura as well. Lucas Moura was there. That was towards the end. That was coming towards the end. But I'm talking about the team that nearly won the league like. Uh, but they went Leicester. Remember the Leicester team? Son and who was the other two? Son, Deli Ali and Kane. Son, Deli Ali and Oh, boy. <laughs> See, and he had less money and he made a team like that. And who were the subs on that? Or do you remember? Or do you look at them? They, they, weren't, they weren't the best. It was like Nasha Chadley. Super um, job. Lucas Moore was there. Um, There was a few people there. Like, I don't know. Wanyama there. W- w- I even forgot about Wanyama was uh, there. Wanyama was so, so. I, that, that's, the, you know what, yeah. They like they even say themselves. They the players say themselves. It's not that they were a bad team. They were just one or two world class players away from winning the league. You know what? Yeah, I think no, no. I, sorry, I was comparing it with Chelsea. When I remember when you told me that statement, mm-hmm. and I really, really thought about it. I was like, you know what? Yeah, that's accurate. It it, it is accurate. So, so I'm so they won't think. So you Arsenal fans won't think I'm going crazy. I'm not fighting with you people. I just want to prove to you. It's so Poch joined Spurs in 2014. Okay. In 2014, in his first season, he finished fifth. Okay. In 2016, he finished third. Now, that was the season they challenged Leicester for the league. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When Hazard scored that last goal. And Hazard scored the last goal because I just... Uh, that's when he took the... Took on those things, yeah. You know the league. That's the year that Arsenal. Finished Arsenal finished top. Arsenal finished top of Spurs by one yeah, point yeah, that season. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough because Spurs. Remember that's when Newcastle went to go and mash Spurs five nil at the last day of the season. Spurs, <laughs> Spurs haven't been able to beat uh, Newcastle away ever since then for some odd reason. Okay, so Poch got sacked in about 2019, if I'm correct. So 2017, Spurs came second against a Chelsea Conte team. Okay, that's when Ingola Conte. Okay, no us. I imagine. Listen, no. 2018-19, Spurs finished fourth, and when he got sacked, 2019-20, Spurs finished sixth. Okay, so Spurs finished sixth. So what? So Arteta came in when Poch was leaving. Okay. Now we've said so. So we can. So people won't think I'm going mad and I'm talking rubbish. So Poch has finished fifth in his fifth in his first season. Yeah. Third in the second season. Yeah. S- second. S- second in his third season. Mm. Third in his third in his um fourth, fourth season. season. That's when City were Centaurians. Centaur- centaur- um, what year was City Centaurians? 2007, 2018. That was like the yeah, second last season. Sunny oh. Rap. So Sterling, fifth yeah. in his last season. Fifth in his fifth. Fifth in his fifth season. Fourth in his fifth season. Sorry. And uh, sixth, sixth in his, his last, last season when he got sacked. Okay. So from what we said. The guy has not finished below seventh, sixth. Six. Sorry, thank you for telling me. So, this is a manager who only had 127 million to spend. He he basically had no control over the place. He barely had any control over the players. Yeah. But he still performed. You get me? So, have in mind though, and before this happened, I'm talking shit. The team that Arsenal, now, Arteta's first team, they can say it was shit. But this was the same thing that finished in the Europa League final the season before. Because remember that's when they were saying, and I quote, some of their fans were saying that um, they would rather lose the Europa League than see Tottenham win the Champions League. But these were the same fans that were complaining about Tottenham let no see win. No Anyways. Hypocrites! That, we're, not, we're, not, we're still going to get there. We're only 10 minutes in. Let's relax. We're warming up. <laughs> so, in his first season, I tell his first season, right? So, that would be 2020, 21, yeah. if I'm correct. No, 2019-2020. Let me not jump the gun here. I still finished eight. Eight in 2020-21. Where did I still finish again? Eight. <laughs> no, sorry. So in 2021-22 season, where did they finish? Fifth. Okay. Eight five. Tottenham finished on top of them all these times. So just okay. have in mind. Eight five. So I was saying eight, eight, five. Oh, eight, eight, five. Yeah, yeah. because they finished eight. Double eight. Then well, obviously we know for the next two seasons they second, finished second, second. 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 Okay. Now. Do you see my point? In this whole time, Arsenal have not won the Premier League. Yeah. They've not qualified for a Champions League final like we did. And we even had a harder route to do it. Have in mind. 
I root to get to a Champions League final. This man got knocked out of the Champions League by a war, a B Tech Bayern Munich team. A weakened Munich team. Yeah. They the said worst they said Bayern team in the last, last 20, 20 years. years is what they quoted it. Aye. No. Sam, I'm not here trying to shit on Arsenal one bit. That's a lie. No, no, get it twisted. I don't like Arsenal. But I'm trying to say like, when I seen the comments of what some of their fans were saying, I'm like, you're just talking out of your ass. If you actually go look at the Premier League and look at someone has got half a million, 500 million great British pounds. Apparently they're saying it's 750. I'm just going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say half a billion. Compared to a manager who got chicken change and made Champions League final, Got to semi-finals, got to multiple semi-finals, got to quarter-finals, got to Champions League final. Took Tottenham to fight for the league, not once but twice. Had that same record that Arsenal had when they lost the season, that when they had the best best scoring and best attacking um, season. Yeah. Also, what's different between them two? Yes, okay, if one's in FA Cup, and I do not count the community shield. Even if Spurs won the community shield, ever, I will not count it. I don't count it as a trophy. It's a plate that you eat off. <laughs> No disrespect, like I don't count it. Whether whoever wants to count as a trophy counts as a trophy. What I, I what I classify as a trophy is maybe in other leagues I know their trophy is a shield, like the Bundesliga, yeah, and yeah, whatever. Yeah, no but that is what it is. But me, I don't count that that piece they, of steel. Did not win the FA Cup? Oh, am I tweaking? They, That's they, fraudulent. They don't won talk the about the FA, FA Cup. Cup. I'm not denying. But are you going to tell me you spent in your last five years after spending X amount of money? You're going to say that's what your that is what you're gonna stand on. I want to go. You see, me myself though, um, in terms of my my, my assessment for it here is still very much so that's the I do I can I can actually somewhat agree with, with, with that. I can I can I don't, I'm not saying I tell is a bad manager. No, I'm not saying it's Poch wasn't there as well. Poch, Poch wasn't a bad manager. And the thing the difference between Poch and Ateta is this they're actually letting one get the place he wants. They didn't let the other get the place he wants, and he still don't go with what he had. That's why I'm disappointed to watch your team get rid of him. Because this is a man that it was not the clicker. Well. This is this guy man that, anyways, your team is annoying. We'll go. We'll get onto everything bit by bit. Let me not go on tangent here, but that's where I get to the point of like, so you as there's fans saying that oh keep Arteta, keep Arteta, but at the end of the day, if now again if City don't do as good and they don't win the league again, what when is going when is enough going to be enough? Like at the end of the day, the guy is good, but. If he keeps finishing second all the time, because eventually if this second team keeps going on, other teams are going to catch up. There is, bro. There's already teams catching up though. Who? Respectfully speaking, Liverpool. You think Liverpool, Liverpool are going to? Liverpool, Liverpool are going to clear. <laughs> Liverpool are going to. Liverpool are going to do a clear out very soon. Let, let's uh, let's actually that question that, that you pro, uh, provided. Let's actually go through because at the moment uh, Pep's contract doesn't finish yet. Pep's so. contract finish next, next year. Finish next year. Well, yeah. Realistically speaking, they're going to renew. it. Okay. If he wants to stay, if, if he wants listen, to listen, they can give him 100 million. I don't, they don't care, they have <laughs> the money. Like, <laughs> but Man City, in and of itself, yeah, that team is under a re- rebuild. Can we can, can we agree on that one? There's a rebuild. What did you just say there? There's going to be a rebuild for that Man City. Team. There's literally only two 30 year old players there, the Brian and Stone. So me what else do they want to do? And yeah. Walker, what what else do they want to do? Okay. Where some who like, what, do you want to do? <laughs> okay, well, please explain the rebuild to me. Okay. I'm confused because City have uh, at the moment for City to get to this point as well. I think they've gone through maybe two, three rebuilds. Yeah, but, uh, ev- but every but, but I'm saying like this team, like for example, they, they from when they shifted their core from Sane, Sterling, that team, right, the Centurions. Mm-hmm. Right? From when they shifted that core, we weren't expecting them. But to they've, all, they've always been winning the league throughout these rebuilds. Yeah, yeah, regardless. But I'm trying to say that. It's not a rebuild, it's a new era. But how is it a rebuild? A rebuild. I'm trying to re- okay, for example, uh, one of one of uh, a good insignia for for this rebuild is that. More than likely, give or take, because of injuries alone, yeah. The Bruin, I think we're going to be seeing less of the Bruin, I think, already yeah, next season. Apparently, there's even rumors that might be going to um, San Diego. Or yeah, but that, 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 okay, okay, okay. That doesn't number. matter now because they have the replacement food and continue. Silva, him as well. So, uh, but so Silva, Silva. Very key player. He was, he's as key as how Gundogan was key. Obviously, they did that well. They did well enough to replace him in two, three players, like um, for Gundogan, skill set. Like like but Silva as well is also. Is it asterisk on him? Yeah, I get it. Asterisk on him. Walker in and of itself. Walker has an asterisk on him. He, do, he has an asterisk. In terms of, from a quality standpoint. It's going to be hard to replace Walker though. Is you can't, re- I don't think there's another. Like, you, you have to get a player like that. His profile, you don't, I don't think you. That's strong. It could, it could, there's no profile Could you say, right um, Barcelad, Araujo? No, it's not the same profile. No. I could say the other guy. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know that The one, young guy. The young, the young guy Aldi. that plays for Barca. Left back, is it? 
I don't know if he's that bad. Oh, the center pick. He's, he's like a kid. Oh, the one, that's that's what eighteen year old kid that yeah. that has been passed. Pass, it's not. It's, I'm saying that athletically, yeah, athletically and technically, there's not um a similar uh, uh, physical profile. Well, there's not in the Premier League. No, there's, there's, there's not full stop. I don't. Know I just, I just don't because maybe I, I'm not aware. That I'm not because aware you know, of any you know, you know. If you like see Araujo play right, if you seen him against Vinny, right? If you can just compare the way because he copped Vinny a lot of time, but he couldn't mark him as well as Marco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like yet again, he he wasn't pepper fired. You well, know? see, the thing about Walker is, is that Walker is pepper fired and he's a bullet. He mm. can run because mm. Walker can Walker can make a mistake, but because of pace. He can, that he one can against that one's against United when Rashford got past him. I you just you pay, you just buy. You just, you just push him down like those. Those and, and you know what? Those, that's one of the major faults with players who physically yeah, they, they are amazing, ex- extremely explosive or extremely quick here, yeah, especially defensively. Mm-hmm. They don't really need to focus. Alfonso Davies is a great example. They don't really need who? to Alfonso Davies, but he's more of a winger anyway. But they don't really need to focus on their defensive ability because they know if you make a mistake, I'm going to catch you. When most wingers are not gonna get, are not gonna get past me. I'm gonna catch you, and but that that's beside my point. Walker's physical profile as well is getting on in age. What is 31, 32? Yeah, but guys, like getting quicker. That's it's what's not, scary. The thing, bro. What? what you, tell me. You, you, if we see that as well as we're, as we're growing up, like the people who, who we say like let's say we're fast or quick, like the older they get, and these are they're not maintaining their bodies obviously to like let's say an athlete standpoint here. Yeah. We see what happens to their pace. We see what happens to their physicality. Their, it's like, like, it's their profile. Me. Hmm? I feel like he's at him. Yeah, I feel like he's going to fight. I feel like he's at him. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, wait, what? It's the way he was like, yeah. It's like he's still, I'm not at you. I'm not I'm And I'm you. still quicker than him. I'm, okay. I'm not at you. I'm not at you. I'm just saying that in general. That's why I said in general. That's why I chose my words in general because I told you you think I'm at you. I'm not coming. I'm not coming for you. Sorry. We played together. I'm not coming for you. But I'm saying like in general, yeah, that that, that is the case. Walker, yeah, I don't, I think Alexia, they're going to be facing our, our but even, who, who do you replace him with? That's the thing. You can't replace his physical. Like, I don't think you can re- re- replace his profile. I think you have to go for up for a different style. Then that's where we'll also be kind of seeing what um is it is it the right back now is Rico Lewis, like the, the the kids coming up. That's why yeah, we're always seeing that style but, coming up. But walk, I don't know. See the pace. See the thing about he's replacing that pace because regardless if he he was basically like your you know your backup security to when you mess up because. Yeah. Akanji is kind of quick, but they're none of them Aki are is quick as well, though. Let's none of them are Walker quick. Yeah. They don't yeah. have that it's like when It's like when Walker takes those first three steps, you're like, oh. He's catching Because you hear the sound yeah. of him come behind you, and then you get you know, scared. It's like, you know, the guy messes up, and he puts his hands down, and he moves <laughs> those hands. It's yeah. like, oh, God. Now, I already, yeah, I've, I've named three I've named three players just off the ball, but those are Who three. Who do you name? De Bruyne, Silva, so. Walker. Already off the off the rip though. Those are three key players. Okay. And there's another there's another one. Because and you know even Gundigan as well. This is also why I, I also want to say that um the first sign as well was them phasing out Gundigan. Gundigan as well, it was also power bay. And mind you, they had for them to phase out Gundigan, they needed to get two players in. And we can also say they haven't filled that role. Okay, hold on. Listen, when Gundo and Bernardo Silva first started with Pep, they didn't start that much. So because they're not starting that much does not mean <laughs> does not mean that these you see Nunes see Nunes I just feel like he's going to incorporate Nunes into his team somehow. one day Nunes is going to be one of the best players in the league just because of Pep Do, am I am I actually wrong no. I'm serious I see who I think they might go for next as well yeah. you know that, that Wolves boy yeah. um, Jack ja, 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 Gomez is it? not no. Gomez Cunha Ma, Mateus, oh Cunha Cunha, Cunha. Cunha. Yeah, 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 that yeah. guy is a fucking <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But listen but like I, 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 hear what, I hear what you're saying yeah man. okay I, I hear what you're saying but what I'm trying to say as well is that that's already that's why that's it this kind of thing when you keep up for example you know how you keep up with chelsea's information both the inside and out here and i mean i say this uh, the same for you and me too the same for me as well we know we have a more intimate knowledge of what's going on in our club here from what on the side of the city experts kind of thing or in the nose are saying as well is that the club is going through another restructuring of the core players that they have like we've said it and they said it as well it's not easy to consistently be winning that united squad the legends that they always talk about it consistently winning here also has its own tone on you and that's why they keep having to change it this is around the next time where they have to change it as well because the gap that they let build here or the the gap that they let form was it's getting a little bit bigger and bigger as well when you notice it that city is letting form from, from the top yeah, honestly, obviously it, it's I a catch up it, does, it doesn't it doesn't matter i see we see it it does not matter no matter how big know, the gap is between city and whoever has first place has, city are still gonna has anybody city, ever won five in a row no. no, no one has even won four in a row. No, I can't even the first one to win four in, four in a row. Pisses me off to fucking say it. I would actually would have rather ask not to win. You don't have a feeling they're going to win five in a row. 
They could possibly, you because know. Because he's not going to want to. He's, he's going he's gonna to be tired of having to do this. Depends how the summer goes. Yeah, this summer is going to be crazy. The, honestly, summer is going to be interesting for a lot Like I said, things. I'm working mm-hmm. as... Who they have replaced the centre backs. I'll give them that. I'll give them that. Mm. Uh, in terms of um, Akanji, Ake, um, you know, Gav- you know, Gav- Gavidol. Gavidol well. is not a centre back in my eyes again. He's not a centre. After after the goals I've seen that guy score, he's not a centre back. Gavidol as well can play there. Before before, before we start part. moving on for a minute, I want to ask you a question. And it's kind of what we're talking about earlier. Were Spurs wrong to celebrate the way they did when they lost to City? No. No. People were saying we're fake fans. I was like, mm. I don't think so. I'm telling you, right, I'm tell you right now, I was a City supporter for that whole day. I was praying to God. I went it, to my knees and prayed. You, you know what got me the most, yeah? It was, there was this, there were certain people who were saying things, were saying we're plastic fans, we're fake fans. We're this Say right them now. directly. Name them. Don't go to the corners. Uh, but what it was like, do you know? Obviously, I I watched, I loved their stuff anyway. You know those AFTV boys. Oh yeah, yeah, they're clowns yeah. though. <laughs> they're just, Actually, yeah. they're clowns. Relax, they're not clowns. They're clowns, man. Let's be realistic. If I that that what's his name Ty said you can win quadruple. Did they even win anything that year? I had your. Well, I know. I mean, like the ones that do the podcast. Uh, oh, like, like Robbie. 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 Yeah. See, Robbie. Robbie's a clown, but he's a less of a clown. Yeah. Robbie, oh, Abby, Flex, and um, the Chelsea guy. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, I don't know his name, but um, I know him. may my I don't know his name. The guy with the glasses, Abby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah in the yeah, context yeah. of of what, in terms of like they, how they talk about Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. they're saying that it's a bit full, it's a bit more. Yeah, like, yeah, no, they're a bit clown. Like they yeah. yeah. when, when it comes to talking about Arsenal, yeah, yeah they, 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 they don't have sense. Silly. Robbie, yeah, Robbie is. Yeah. I have to give him his props. He literally set such big. Like he literally brought like sports pod talks to yeah, the, what yeah, it is yeah, today, yeah. like in AFTV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they hate, everybody down. can hate AFTV, but AFTV were really the ones. They're who, the start of it, like. Yeah. yeah. You think of how big they got that Arsenal told them to take the name out of. The, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Arsenal sent them a letter saying, "Bear, just take the name out of um, can't use Arsenal basically to, for your channel because they only used to be called Arsenal Fan TV. Yeah. So before they, they changed it to AFTV. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because they were saying some bad stuff about Arsenal mm. as well. That's how. Ah, they're that, pretty much ultra. Because you know he started. You know you know he started getting a lot of hate. Yeah. Because um me included. I would only ever watch AFTV when I snow lose. <laughs> Cause I wanted to see um those troublemakers. Light skin guy. Oh troops. Troops, yeah. yeah. DT <laughs> Turkish. Yeah. Um, you know what makes me laugh the most? The when Nigerian... expressions when expressions call. Oh, them. let me say one thing. See yeah. Expressions. Expressions. I wish you didn't is, say that uh, top now. Expressions is the greatest thing we've got into sports in the last five years sports media sports media expressions is the goat is becoming is the goat so of this thing funny. right now you know what it is yeah the guy is actually the guy was actually born a rapper he was because born how he lyrically does certain things it's not even scripted it's not he's even saying, you'd be saying it. it's like I'm, a battle rapper you'd be saying it quick i was like Bumble class. Uh, what did you say? That's on. That's nail on it. He's like a battle rapper. I love to see him battle rapper. Honestly, oh, especially you'll be saying you, you, the way you'll be using analogies. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, you will string them together immaculately in front of your eyes. You fat ball, Matiza. <laughs> <laughs> we go big up for the fraud. We go the whole. I sent I sent you the TikTok of um, inspections when he was watching the city match. Yeah, he was just like, ah, blood, another comeback. What are we gonna do? And then he was just like, ah. What can you do? <laughs> Expressions. Let me see if oh, let me see if I, I, I remember him. I think it was worried when Son was in one on one. Yeah, it was like, no, no. <laughs> Now expressions is genuinely speaking. Really. I wish it, again. I double. I wish. I wish he supported a team and like United or a Liverpool or a, actually not never Liverpool. But I just Wait, wish. It I want to see. Let me see if I can play this. No, but I like the way it spurs though because <laughs> expressions was ringing troops.
Expressions is just honestly, and I think he deserves more than he actually even has. Yeah. He deserves so much more. But like I said, th- look, fuck you. Um, <laughs> did, you see, did you see when he was on JD with Fabrizio? Oh my god! <laughs> and like Fabrizio, word, who and I first linked to it, he's like, "Kalagala," he's like, "Blood!" And, <laughs> <laughs> and it is wordplay that just gets me as well. Oh, it's it's like, exactly the wordplay, man. Oh, but um, that's what I was saying. They, they kept saying like, oh, we should be ashamed of ourselves for support. I'm, but then I love, do you know what I love about social media and sometimes is some people can really dig up the past. When they started digging up when they were, when the fans were saying, when um, Robbie went to ask all their fans saying, would you rather lose the Europa League and would you rather win the Europa League and no one's supposed to win the Champions League mm. or lose the Europa League no one's supposed to? They said, they also lose. They did not hesitate. I'm like, we're fake fans who are not wanting you to win the league. But you yeah, are not no, fake fans for not wanting Spurs to win the league. Make it make sense. It doesn't matter. They, 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 what they're trying to, to say See, or what the dialogue they're trying to make it doesn't make sense. Only what happened then was it was pinning them. That uh, that also for social media, they kept saying Spurs would lose, Spurs would lose. And what Spurs done that day was very evil as well. They actually made it. You see, they even lost that game, but they played so well that they couldn't, they couldn't say anything. They couldn't say anything. Because this was like they lost. So even made it worse, that's some <laughs> chance. I'm not gonna lie, but he's still missed that chance on purpose. <laughs> I'll stay here one, to that. Yeah. Anybody fan. I ever want in that same position that Son was, was in, in is only always going to be nine point five times out of ten he scores that. Nine point five, nine point nine, 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 nine times out of ten. I've never seen Son miss that chance before. Yeah, but like, that's you know what? I know he missed on purpose, and he was even laughing with Pep, and he didn't hide they, it because they know because at the end of the day, yeah, it's a double. It, it was a, it was a coin. It, it was the same outcome. It was either yes, yeah, there's a chance to finish. They could have finished Champions League as we know because. Crystal Palace nyam, nyamed. So they're five levels. Nyamed Villa. Or they could have not. Like at the end of the day, when you look at the coin, you're going to say, I don't want my rivals winning the league. They lose if they win. They win when they lose. Because like, you know what? You know what would happen? It would have been like, in theory, they won the league at White Hart Lane again. Mm. Well, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, bro. Mm. <coughs> but yeah. I don't think Spurs fans are fake. So any Arsenal fans that think so, look, that's, that's their Cup business. Yourself, yeah. Now. What's next for our business? What's next is what is happening in the last couple of, when I say the last 72 hours in managerial football. Oh, because shit. Because it has been a madness. Poch is leaving. Poch left Chelsea, which I want to hear from you. What you think about that, my friend? <laughs> see, see that Chelsea, talk. Chelsea, Chelsea. See that talk, bully lad, man. I think the saddest day of my life was when he joined our club. See the thing, you see the thing is with that guy, he had the potential of doing something smart, right? If he kept Tuchel, right, and just bought the players that Tuchel wanted, we would we would have been, we would have won the league. Let's not let's not hide it because Tuchel was a, was was up there with with Klopp and Pep when he was in the league. Let's not hide it. And you can look at look look at me in the eye. Is that is that am I wrong? Tuchel was he won the Champions League with Kai Havertz as a striker. Let's be real. Let's be. Let's I be sorry. Kai even won the Premier League with him as a striker. Just imagine, right? Let's just and we had a hard run to the Champions League final as well. Don't get it twisted, right? If he kept, if he kept Tuchel, right, we would have, we would have, we would have been close to the league that Arsenal are right now. Let's let's be real. But then you don't sack Tuchel to get Graham Potter. Then he keeps Graham Potter, sacks him, brings Frank Lampard as an interim. Frank Lampard lost every game by one. <laughs> <laughs> by one against Bournemouth and we were lucky to win that as well then he brings in Pochettino at first I told you I never hit it that I didn't like Pochettino but he grew on me right he grew on me and that's what he wanted he wanted to go on the fans he didn't want to force anything right 
Once he grew on the fans. Once Chelsea start playing good football. Once everything is flowing, everyone, everything is moving with anointing. Ah, let's sack him. After, you know, because this time last year, if you told me, like this time last year, right, where Chelsea finished, we finished like what, 11 or 12, right? Mm. If you told me that Chelsea were going to finish sixth this year, and I slapped you in the face, I said, stop lying to me. But see, ah, God almighty. Then I hear the names that they want to, they come and, come and want me to replace Poch with. Kieran McKenna, good manager, it's Ipswich, you know, double um, promotion. I don't care. I don't care. It's going to be a potter situation again. I'm not ready for it. And then the third name was Thomas Frank. I like Thomas Frank as a manager. Don't get me wrong. But for Chelsea, stay away, my friend. I'd be so real. Stay away, my friend. And then they have a fourth mystery man that nobody knows. If that mystery man doesn't come out of that closet right now, I want to see who that person is. I'd be so real. <laughs> I'd be so real. I'm not, I promise you, if we get other Kieran McKenna or Enzo Makashiki, whatever, whatever his name is, I don't care what he is. Uh, uh. I, bro, bro, I'd be so honest. I don't care who he is, right? If we get either one of them guys, I promise you, I, I don't care how much I spend on this stuff. I will burn it down right now. I will burn it and I will never watch Chelsea match again. Mark my words. And I will support a different team. I don't care. I don't care. If you call me this loyal fan, fuck you. I, don't, I actually don't care. I actually don't care. Toboli, right? I told you this many a times. Toboli has stripped my love of football. Since he walked into that door. <laughs> My love of football has died when Tuaboli walked into them doors. Because he told us lies. See, you know, <coughs> you know, a few days last week, I saw here we go. Chelsea signed Brazilian talent. So I'm, just, I'm just like, who are you? Who are you? You know, you know, I, I, I know because I don't even have to look it up. I know all the mistakes that Tuaboli made. First of all, sacking Tuku. Second of all, no, even, let me not even start there. First of all, buying Cucurella. 60 million, you are crazy. Sacking Tuku straight after that. Getting Zakaria and Obamian. Are you sick? As a Chelsea football club that was challenging, challenging for challenging them years ago under Obamovich. Are you sick? Third, third reason. Looking at Enzo for eight matches and buying him for 108 million. For I like Enzo, but 108 million after watching him after eight matches. You can fuck up. Modric playing 13 block clats professional games. And you pay he paid 85 million for that that food, right? 85 million for that guy. Yeah? Do, do you know how many mistakes? How many mis- mistakes have I made now? Uh, has he made now? You spend one billion British pounds and you have nothing to show for it. You are a billionaire and you are shameless. May God <laughs> I'm, let me not finish that sentence. Let me not finish that sentence. Because if I finish that sentence, if uh, my brother, my blood brother, the brother, the brother, the same mother, same father. Let me tell you something. My love of football has died. I promise you. You know, when I play football in real life now, I can't move the same way I did as I was younger. You know? I can't move the same way. Because I hate, I don't like football again. I promise you. Because Chelsea brought me joy. You know, I was crying with, crying with chairs of joy when we won that Champions League. We, we, we best my city, Pep, Pep, I was crying with joy. The year after, I was, I then when Tobuli came, I was crying with tears, tears of sorrow. Eh, because that Chelsea team, I, they have killed me. They have killed me now. If I, I repeat, if, if I see Kieran McKenna <laughs> walking through them doors and put on that fucking training top, what lie, I will not support Chelsea again. I promise you, I promise you, I'm done. I promise you, I won't do it. I'm not able. It's too much. Your rant over. Yes, my rant. I told you yeah, earlier. I ran to. I told you. It's not like I didn't tell you. Do we even need to talk about this anymore? <laughs> they will find their own wish, Because like, yeah, from Abramovich, <laughs> me as a, as a as a as a rival to me, I'm happy though because Abramovich as an owner is top. Yeah, Abramovich. Top. Abramovich set standard. It was the best one of the best like, you could ask. I, did, I think control. Tom always trying to think he's Abramovich, but you can't be Abramovich if you're not. You know, because the thing is, Abramovich, Abramovich was bringing in world class or class players. Yeah, he made a few mistakes okay, with the players yeah. he was bringing in, Sam. And he bring players the managers want. He's not players that just any... And even if he brought a manager in, if Abramovich brought that man in, did Abramovich bring Frank Lampard? Yeah. I think that was the only mistake, in my opinion. Yeah, Frank- but you know, to be fair, Frank Lampard did get top four in his first season. To be fair, and Chelsea won transfer ban that season as well. Oh, so yeah, 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 no yeah, manager yeah, yeah. with that right sense would have went to that club. Yeah. So um, if you really look at it, Abramovich, ever since he's been there, he's won them, he's won trophies with every single manager he's brought in. 
تا بوبی از هر فایب منجرز برا یعنی از نهاد نوتن تو شو فایت you know i saw this thing right enzo and mojo joined in january and they're under four manager now can you imagine january of 2023 and they're under four manager now tam can you imagine hey long damn but anyways <laughs> he's already dead the chelsea thing was being some company to byron munich yes we need to see more i like to see people fail upwards i need to i need to see more fail of my people fail up, 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 up. how can you fail upwards i mean i've seen some people they do a terrible job and then they fail upwards i mean i've seen that one before how's he failing upwards is because from right? berlin is going up in listen, 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 listen. don't get it berlin got relegated and he's filled don't, into don't, the don't get it twisted though don't get it twisted he did a good job at berlin yeah he, last season he did as best as he could Lassie. with the people so, he had. Really got, like, I was even talking to um, a Burnley fan, a Burnley fan today. Yes, they are there. They are, and they are actually quite informed. I was talking to him, he was saying that in terms of style, tactically that they changed big from last year to this year, is that the 10 normally um, comes in um, to obviously make the tree with the two DMs in midfield. That That's what they did a lot last year. So there wasn't too much, there, there was a lot of screenage in the midfield. Numerically, they had numbers in the midfield. Uh-huh. But what they ended up changing to this year was like a shadow striker system, which left the middle more exposed for the DMs. And they were getting bet numerically just by the way the, a lot of Prem teams play with like three or four in, in that midfield kind of a situation. And that's how they were getting done in. This is from what the, um, the Burnley lads was telling me. And, um, Obviously, that those tactical tweaks and changes here, yeah, they can work with the right quality, but they came from company, and he didn't make obviously the right change. You're supposed to adjust to your situation. He didn't, at the end of the day. So well, yes, he had. We can. We two things can be true. He had a great season of Burnley last year. Very great. They, they won, didn't it? They won the championship yeah, last they year. Won the championship. That's a great achievement because the championship is getting harder and harder each year. They come in this year. Charlie said it was a good watch this year, though. If you saw, it was good a good watch. watch. Yeah. They got relegated though this season. The playoff is this Sunday, isn't it? Uh, no. For the third team, yeah, it's getting yeah. yeah. It's, it's it, who is it? Leeds it, it, it's and it's Southampton. It's it, a Hampton. Southampton and Leeds are in the playoff final. <laughs> I put my money. Who would I want back in the Premier League? Though? That's Leeds. The thing. I want Leeds back. I, want I just want. To, I want to see Wilfred Nanto back in the. Actually, Premier League. I don't want Leeds back because there's a player from Leeds. That I know who he wants, and he's not getting it. Some other. No. You know, you know, I love this. You know, funny about United. They actually think they're gonna get some. They actually think they're gonna get Michael Elise. Well, no, no, that's um, at least what he said. Supposedly, already gone to uh, a London club. <clears throat> that's what some of the in the nose are saying. He's gone. They, he's already. He's going to a London club this year because the manager. I mean, the uh, one of the people that he he was with when he was younger is currently at one of the London clubs. I can't. I think, I think it's, it's jo- Chelsea. Joe or, Shields. Joe Shields is at Chelsea. Yeah, he's at Chelsea. He's gone. To, he's at Chelsea. I think it's Chelsea from um, then from what from what the case may be that he's gone to a London club. I don't think he should come because of the situation that Chelsea are in right now. I don't think think he should come. Well, but that would allow Palmer to play ball. They're more of a 10 and then him on the right. And yeah, then bro. also with a, with a but I, <clears throat> As much as I like, as much as I would like... Is James and Olisa on the wing? On the, on the flank? Yeah, I know, but as much as I would like you? Olisa... With James and Olisa, well, when he's fit, and Olisa on the flank. As much as I would love that, right? I do rate Madueke a lot. And I just think under the right coach, he would have been developing into more. Would have been. There's going to be too many left footers. That's, yeah. that's actually a strange problem to have. Too many left footers. I know. No, no, no. Do you know how many left footers there is, though? Come, by 2025, we're going to have six right wingers. Do you, do you hear what I said there? <laughs> Wait, what? They're probably going to sell a lot of players this year. Yeah, man, you have to... I say a lot of the players you just bought, they're going to have to sell. They're going to sold. But... You guys did not hear what I said. Six left for that is crazy. Six, and you know, do you know how many of them actually played for Chelsea? One or two. Two. What the level? You know what's so crazy? You know those players that Chelsea have signed up, but I don't even know about. There's one guy, Ecuadorian, Perez guy. I always see him on the Chelsea tour. I'm just like, oh, this guy's a good player. Why do we buy him? We already have, we why do we actually buy him? Then there's that guy I was talking about um S2 S what I let me know butcher his name. I I'm a lot he's a young guy, 17 years old. But you butcher then he's right wing. He's another left footer. Top bully is just he's just he's just joking around. He's just joking around. He said, "I see you. I want you." That's what he's doing. Damn, it's working. Uh, I don't. I, it's yeah, not working. It's, at it's all. not. No, no. I was about to say, but well, I think I don't completely understand the transfer systems in baseball or in um, NFL because it's drafts. It's a draft system over there. Mostly. I know a draft system. In the, but draft I, don't, system I, don't, I don't fully understand it. But draft system will be so bad here. Oh, I, I'll hit that system. In the Prem. Oh, in 10. Prem. Absolutely. Oh, because there's too many 10. players as well for, for that there's system. There's not even draft system in um, MLS. There is. Wait, what? Yeah. There's a draft system yeah, in MLS. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they act, they, what, what do they do? Like, 
I can't remember what we, but there's a draft system in the MLS, yeah. Well, so you just graduate, you graduate from, from football college and then you go into the team. I think there's three to four <coughs> professional leagues in the in America and the MLS is the top yeah, one. They're like Southern, yeah. Eastern, Western and... Yeah, so maybe mid to uncertain. The way they do the way they do sports in that country. Don't mind them, Joe. But then again, in and of itself, they are their own co- they are literally like a continent in and of themselves, like in terms of size. So it kind of makes sense for them to do that too. <laughs> Actually, since you're here. <laughs> okay, what do you want to ask him? What do you want to ask him? I don't even know what he's gonna ask. I, said, me too. I saw I saw on Twitter that United have 37 million to spend on <laughs> I saw that too. <laughs> So that thirty seven million. Who you gonna buy? What? Honestly, at that point, there's nobody to buy with thirty seven million. You know, you know to put money when back you like say only say, I was like, only say has sixty million <laughs> release clause. You can't afford that. You only want to have minus. We can't account. afford. We can't afford. In fact, yeah, honestly, wait, hold on. I think if I remember correctly, yeah, Nico Williams has a forty million. Fifty. Fifty, sorry, fifty million. Um, fifty million euros, so forty something uh, pounds. Mm. Um, release clause, yeah. Uh, there you at, go. At, the t- t- at the same time, at the same time as well. Anthony, at, the, at the same time as get well, five yeah. Million between them. At the same time as well, let us land thirty-seven million. If we can be, let's let's be very honest and frank. Thirty-seven million has never been the budget <laughs> that United have had available to them. Can just you? from not, not even not even um. I don't know what the owners are can put in here. Mm. Just from our revenue alone, it's never been the case. Okay, I'm just saying, right? Because so you, you, unless say you be don't see, believe those figures, if if you, you, if you don't be city, right? <laughs> you don't even have come. You're not in Europe, right? Thank God. No money is coming in from that. From that. Uh, from from competitions, yes. But from in terms of still in terms of, again. Yeah, but you G, still have to be complying with FFP. So yeah, you have to. G. You have to remember, United is still one of the biggest biggest. Of, of course, I already said it. They're the biggest club. In uh, England, right? But the thing is, right? They need to sell to buy. Yeah. And the thing is, what they can sell is not buyable. You know what I mean? They can't do. You, you're not gonna get money for McTominay. Ah, we were good. Malaysia. Per- I don't even know where that guy is right now. Yeah, that one was a, it's a serious no. something. That guy is disappeared. This, so this is supposedly what's um currently on the on the market. Anthony um is up for sale. Um, Sancho's up for sale. I yeah. swear it was like everybody bar Menu Hoyland no, and. No, 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 no. Those are Canacho, people, people said Fernandez is up for sale. No, the, yeah, what? yeah, I saw that as no, well. No, though. This, again, like I said, let me say, let me give you. Okay. Be, like, I, was to, I was about to say because you man, I, 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 some, some of my players. Are, it's, it's, it's I said me. apparently, I never oh. said he was. So, for example, um, with Fernandez, yeah, there's there's also been more conversation between him and Ineos on the board. There, they're trying to understand like what his place will be in the project. They just they our star players currently being Bruno and Rashford. Um, the older ones, yeah. Uh, the older ones, the older ones. I hate Fernandez, but if you let him go, I'll take him on the happy. I, I would love him then. <laughs> if you keep so him the happy. Fire bottle, you, anyways. Um, but, would you fire me? Uh, you both, they should fire bottle. You. Nice. From what of what you have said about about, about <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I said I hate you, Fernandez at United, but if it was a Spurs, I was over. Anyways, but Fernandez and um, Rashford are, are more talented, older, older lot. Um, they said that they just want to know where where they are in the project, but from the in the personal opinions of the players, yeah. They do very much want to stay. They just want to know where the project is going and how they fit into that project because it's no longer a managerial project. It's like a full club from the okay. stadium being rebuilt the whole lot. Now, yeah, but the thing who's is, who's right? on the transfer market now? Yeah, okay. The ones that. that also the untouchables being Canacho, Minu, um, Hoyland. Hoyland. They also, I don't. Be, I think they were saying that they were they were unwilling, but they may listen to hear offers from for Ahmad. Um, at the same time as well, for uh, Rashford, they, they 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 want him to stay. But if they if um if, if he wants to go and a good offer for him comes, they will let him go. PSG are coming for him. Um, but oh, that MG boy as well. Uh, oh yeah, he's hey. on the market. He's listed. MG. Yeah, he's listed. The man for um, Getafe, Maso or what we call. It. But they, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. But um, he's got um. um oh, I'm is he on? Oh, he's on the market. He's on the market. Oh, it's apparently, but see for that one, yeah. But Saka's on the market. Um, they want a lot of money for him, and I don't know why they should. Lindelof is on the market. Sancho's on the market. MG's on the market. I forgot uh, Lindelof played football, man. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. injured. Okay. Yeah, he's injured. He's asked. You're gonna get money for Sancho because what he did in this championship. Forty-five. It's reasonable. I don't think it is. Forty-five think, is reasonable. I, th- I think you, they get thirty-five and five add-ons. Honestly, yeah, that's the most you're gonna. I no one in no no. Bamisaka, Bamisaka will go back to Crystal Palace, in my opinion. We'll see where he goes. Um, who else? You know what? Like, uh, Imagine if he goes back and he plays as a third centre back. You're so funny. Speaking of speaking of Crystal Palace, you know Mateta has more goals than Hoyland. Okay. 
But Mateta has been back about 15 or something, isn't it? Mateta has what, 11 goals in the Premier League? No, 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 it's like 15. 15, 15 something. Like after the last game, check, he's got a hat trick in the last game, though. Check, make me check. Mateta is. Check our fact check. Who. Would you take Mateta United? Mateta United, Edge of Peace. I'm actually Papu Patch for. You see, you see, this is what I, this is what this. I didn't know that. Adorable. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't ask. I didn't, I didn't call for anybody. <laughs> Starts uh, goals. Talon been out for two months and then. See there, how many goals? Sixteen goals. Wow. <laughs> but uh, what's his name? Non in terms of total comp, um, in all competitions this this season, um, Holland finished with I think fifteen, sixteen or so. But that's that's assist. in the Premier League, sixteen goals. Yeah, but that's just Prem. I'm saying all com- across all competition. Well, I was talking about all competition. No, no, no. I'm saying all competition. In, terms, in this in this season, yeah, mm. all competitions. Is, well, I think pretty much is still sixteen. Is the same. Yeah. In but all Hoyland, competition, Hoyland's and got one sixteen. One person done it with one season, one com- one competition Premier League. But in terms of look at the minutes, both are, both are playing though. Uh, Matata played more minutes than Hoyland. I wouldn't say that now. No, no. I wouldn't say no. No, come no, on, come deep, on. No, no, the deep. I no, wouldn't say. What do you mean? I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't deep, say that. No, don't because don't forget, on. Roy Hodgson was there. And what I'm trying to say, you, you, we were literally saying how we literally say for the from September to December, Hoyland was getting hooked early. Okay, but it's only from January to now that Mateta has been playing games. But I'm saying that, but it's still the amount of games between January and now is also a lot. I can with, with that being said, it's well, not the same as from September to December. But that just played more full games than Hoyland. Was that not on him? No, but, I'm, but what I'm trying, but what, what I'm trying to say is, I don't that even try to use that analogy because because Haaland was injured for a lot. You should want to compare the caliber of talents now. Is that are we going to start being? Well, on the, you spend, are we you going to when are we, when United when so United fans are comparing Haaland to Haaland? Oh, yeah, I will. Yeah, I will. I will. Because you went to buy. Ho- you, you, you see, you people, yeah, you people. One thing I dislike about you too, oh. and this thing pisses me the fuck off. <laughs> and you know the fuck what you're doing, and you would like to get a reaction out of me, and it needs to fucking stop, yeah. What? You see, you too, yeah. What? You will see some nonsensical <laughs> opinions <laughs> online. You see, I know, like, you and the thing that pisses me off, you will hate when those same nonsensical opinions you know, get drafted you know, to you, know, you, know, and you will bring it to us. Don't even let me finish. <laughs> if you let me finish, say what I want to say. Oh yeah. You bought a striker for seventeen million great British pounds. Okay. And you're telling me you don't expect him to be as good as Haaland, if not better. Don't Haaland was cheaper. Haaland wasn't cheaper. Haaland was only like eighty pound, eighty million pounds that we know. No, Haaland had a release clause of like sixty million. Yeah, Haaland, Haaland was even cheaper. Thank you for even yeah. putting the common sense in my head. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. You know, in contracts, we're adding wages. Add the wages in. Add the yeah, wages in. Does that make him cheaper? He's not, he's not one of the highest paid players at City. That doesn't mean squat. So Add the wages high, in. He's highest paid players. Not, not just that, yeah. That's base. That's base. That's without, I wait. So you're telling, bonus. Me, you're telling me Haaland isn't one of the highest paid players at United? I'm saying that Haaland is not making as much as Haaland. You are mad. You are mad. <laughs> you, your, your team that paid Rafa Varane 250k. You're telling me Haaland is not going to be there. Have, Hold on, do you think that there wasn't a clause in Haaland's contract, depending on the goals that he broke, that there's a goal bonus on him yet, number one? And you don't think that, depending on, again, how the season went last year, his contract doesn't increase this year? Who? What For Haaland. Okay, so how do you know? I know, you see the way you want to because you know. <laughs> no, I'm asking, how do you know? Because now you know. I think mean, I mean, I mean, he was in the meeting well, there between I'm them now. I'm telling you, I'm yeah, what I'm saying to you. You want to know how I know, yeah? Thank Thank this guy for talking. Ben Foster. He's literally talked about the way contracts work. Okay, so Ben Foster was there during the meeting. No, my deal. Ben Foster was there. So, are you... Ta- you was even negotiating. I'll, it's okay. Okay, so... Because you might... I'm trying to, to down you. you. You're telling me, yeah, you, we can't make sorts new ones and educated assumptions and guesses in relation to... We can't make that anymore. But I'm trying to tell you that Hoyland is on... Hoyland would be on a lot of money, if not near enough to what Haaland is and I'm on. trying to say, yeah, maybe in terms of base, but in terms of further add-ons, yeah, Because you have to remember, is, yeah, it's not his contracts are not in your contracts. These are... Rick Laser. Edwards, <laughs> Lazer's contract. Yeah. So this so guy could be on like 200k. We, don't know, we don't know what those things are. If you're giving Casemiro, Varane, I think it was 100 and something the last time I checked. Uh, I don't know. I, I think it was 100 like, and something the last time I checked. I feel like it's more. You as well. You people are you people are sheeps in that Chelsea team. They're actually bastards. You know they only pay Cole Palmer 75 grand a week. Let's be realistic. Did you know who he was before he came? Let's yes! We all... Sam, it was, are you it trying was to tell me you do not know who Cole Palmer okay, was? Okay, okay, you knew who he was, like but, but would you have paid him 150 k Yes, at the I time? would have. At the time. Considering who you paid 150 something. Yes, 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 I would have. have. You paid it for Mudrick, but you're not going to pay for Cole Palmer. You paid for Angel, you're not going to pay for Palmer. 
Okay, no, before he... That's, I'm talking about... Okay, maybe I knew him from scoring that goal in the whatever, the wafer thing, Super Cup, and then against Arsenal. Other than that, I didn't know him. I can not know Let's be realistic. Who knew Modric? No, mind you, he's watching YouTube complications. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? No, no one knew Modric. Complications. Complication. Complication. We need to, you know how in 90s show they have their helmets when somebody missed up. We need to bring our own version. But why is some fake complication? <laughs> Compilations. Compl- complications. Wait, wait, not complications. Not complications. It's even for real, for real complications. You know the, you know the thing for, for her mm. We need to bring it. Leave him, it was complications. Let me mm. tell you why. Because they got a complicated problem. You didn't even know about it. No way. Don't, you can't flip it. I won't I won't flip it. It's not to flip it. So, um, so, like, you know, since you you look at United, United on Twitter, like, what's their plan? What's their plan? In terms of Ineos. From the in the north, United north. have no plan. Let me hold be on. You. <laughs> United <laughs> plan. I want to throw just going to be top boy two. I want to throw my shoe at this man. This show it and I'll throw my iPad at you. you see <laughs> Your I'm iPad. That, well, I, this shoe. This shoe. Yeah, it don't cost that much. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, what's it from the? Let's. Uh, there's a difference. We can actually say there's a difference in sort of from a structural type of view, and that way we can be objective. But the current people we we put in place so far here. Yeah, they're, they're decent. They're, they're, from what from what we know, again, because we don't as well players, we play more so than anything. We don't really know much about the, the really technical behind the scenes. So stuff, from yeah. what you know, from what is being spread, for what is being spread, okay. Maybe that, <laughs> <laughs> me, I, he, I see he was talking like he was there when you heard. <laughs> from from what, is, from what is being talked about here, yeah, for um, your man that um, we got for um, uh, uh, I think scouting and transfer, he was you know the that Southampton team when we were young. I believe the the one that I had ridiculously. Man, Luke Shaw, Wanyama, if I remember correctly, it was Nalana was there. Is that him or Friedman? I'm com- confusing the two, but I think they've even worked together at the point. I'm I'm confusing the two here, but um, that's the one that uh, Newcastle tried to sign, but he declined um, to replace Ashford. But pretty much, yeah. Well, Did trying- you scare him? Oh, Dan Ashford. We he's on gardening leave, and at, they're still negotiating. They're trying to stop him from leaving. Pretty much, they've kept him on gardening leave to like 2026. 2027. What's Gardner leave? They won't let him go. They hold him hostage, pretty much. Okay, so he's not working, but he gets money. So he no, won't no, go no, to United. No, no, no. I think he's. he's sal- I, I don't know if his salary is on Paul. I don't know he's still getting paid for being on Gardner. He just can't. Just that he can't work for United yet. So he has Newcastle are preventing him. That's a You know, Newcastle are preventing. I think they've already, they already negotiated personal terms. That's, co- that's contractual. That's contractual um, kidnapping. Yeah. God no, 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 <laughs> definitely. Sure, it, it's actually something that in in finance they used to do a lot in America. That way, I think there's specific clauses that you can't work for a specific uh, rival companies. They banned it. They banned it recently. They stopped that's it. That's crazy. But man. in Europe, that's they still shackles, haven't done it. Man. <laughs> the, 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 uh, if I'm re- if my if, if I'm remembering correctly, because I was reading an article or something, or I seen it in passing. But that to be the case. But but they've banned it in America, but they're still here. Okay, okay, good. But I digress in order. We have co- very qualified personnel in that our the owners are delegating the issue to and these and these um, um personnel that we've got in here are very football book and focused and there's been results. And namely one of the most glaring ones being the Man City um, head that, that we got. In as well. Oh yeah, you got my city's boy to yeah. try to repair my city. And he's uh, not okay. He directly, mind you, as well. Yeah, has also been a large part of their success over over these last decade. He that's 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 his, his CV. That's my city is pretty much in his CV. Like you know, one of his latest project. And you see, <laughs> yeah, no way. Dan Ashford as well. That uh, I don't know if they ever let him. So do you think go. this is my, like, okay? What that's... I'm trying to say is that w- the reason why the Ineos law or the fact that we have a plan that we a lot of fans should start taking much more security in the where we are now is that the people we've got in are reputable people. You can see their past projects; they're competent, and at the same time as well, it also bodes well that Ineos are willing to employ and put people on the wages that they trust to sort of execute the plan the overall scheme scheme plan because it's not just in yours I Sam, will, Sam, my, Sam. my god I swear to god if you tap my land like that Sam, my, Sam. My, 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 Sam, let, me let me tell you something let me tell you something <laughs> listen you see you see all of what you said there was rubbish let's be real why is it rubbish <laughs> no no why is it rubbish <laughs> because no because I'm saying this from experience oh, this all of these people that they say face. oh that, that some of the people they were saying that our technical director all these people all these scouts all of them that the rubbish idiots that, that we have got in Chelsea now. So that, again, <laughs> but you, I, you also know you that, took I, Brighton not once but twice. Can you? Didn't they tell you? But that's that's bully. 
I know, but these Abram, are... Abramovich yeah, had he, he had the correct personality. Yeah, yeah. He, he had Pierre Czech, Czech and, and uh, woman. Mar- Maria Ganeskaya. I'm sorry to say, she was, fa- a, I, 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 she was a she was a wicked person as well. Though, as I'm much as they haven't found, I'm sorry to say, haven't found new jobs. I don't think they wanted to. I know it's hard because of um, kind of like because you know the reason because why, of because of you know the reason why Abramovich left. Mm. You know, like so, it's kind of hard when you when you you know it's not that fault. It's not that. Yeah, yeah it's, I suppose it's literally just yeah, just connected to him. Yeah, yeah. So like that, what I'm saying, right? I'm not, not maybe maybe not everything you said was rubbish, but I'm just saying that don't even read into that right now because I promise you yeah, no, they will let you down. Yeah, I'm serious. I think you should just wait. Let's see what this season plays out like. What, what I'm trying to say is that the reason why I say this should still take, and I'm still gonna say that we should still be more secure in where we are now is because we are we are we are hundred times better than where we were previously, where we didn't know. Like before, yeah, we were in complete chaos. We can't be still are. No, no, no. But like in terms of where we like, we don't even know a structure to kind of get us out of chaos. That's and what. We, you, that's what. Okay. And we can both all agree that at the same time, Glazers strictly focused ma- majority on the financial and the business side of things, right? Yeah. But I'm saying, do you think? Okay, that's your plan, as in detective, the Redders, scouts, all of them. Yeah. Do you think they are going to keep Tanag? Do I think no? No, I don't. Think Tanag, Tanag, apparently, said, apparently, they even said Tanag is going to be gone regardless whether United. Yeah, yeah. Without, without, without okay, yeah, and if from. Tanag leaves, who do I want him? No, it's not who, but who you want him. Who do you think they will get him? Yeah. Because well, we, because that's, now that's you, you need to think. Question. You need to think now, right? Because Tom Suku is available. Yeah. Kieran McKenna is one of your former people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's there's a Huh? Deserbi. Right? But Deserbi is already signed. Sorry. Deserbi is signed for somebody, but nobody but knows. And it's supposed to be because there's an important competition coming up. Now that's either that Man could City be. or United. It is not Man City. I we can't don't, that we don't know. We don't know. My thing is we don't know. But the thing is, right? So basically. First of all, Thomas Tuku, with that 37 million you have, you cannot never, afford him. If we will never accuse him, <laughs> what? Cannot afford him. That's why I'm saying that when it comes to figure, because every year there's some some small minute figure. I think it was like 50 million last year that they said that we had to spend. I look how much we spent. Realistically, when it comes to United, United year, whatever my a minute figure that's below 100 million, that is, you know what, you're just cap us out 100 million. Okay, I'm just saying, right? Because you need to sign players as well. Yeah. There's no point of spending that much on a manager because Tommy Tuku comes with a price as well. The guy has a Champions League to his name, right? He has a bonus league to his name. He has the French league to his name as well. This guy has been through it and he took scrutiny as well. He's used to it. Can I be I, honest? Hmm? I think you and I should have signed Poch. Poch would be a good shit. Poch is one of the considerations as well. From what I'm seeing from, again, from my Indonesia, yeah, they want the the criteria for what Ineos are looking for because it's a project that they say it takes three years for us. To, that's their plan, three years anyways, three seasons. They want a young manager in. They want a young... So, the two cool and the older will not are actually on the lower priority than, for example, your Kieran McKenna's, your, 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 your Potters, your RD, RZ, and the Zerbi, RDZ, sorry. I was trying to remember the ways. And it's me saying that you should put a TV on my head. <laughs> I corrected myself, though. But, okay, so that means you're realistically... Kieran McKenna, Kieran McKenna or Deserby Deserby Potter as well and po- Potter is young again okay Potter Potter is young how old is Potter okay okay po- and Potter yeah and and, tr- and you have to take three years to do development right yeah yeah <laughs> can we win I don't see, I can't see the thing is that right? how the mighty have fallen because from Alex Ferguson you are talking about getting Graham Potter I'm saying the same as well as Chelsea don't worry from Jose Mourinho to whoever we get next the mighty are falling now. We, you look at the three people you just consider there as managers. Do you really think, with your whole heart, that that three year project, at the end of that three year project, you are going to be somewhere? Hold on a fucking minute, chap. I de- let's let's wait, 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 wait. Did you Before not? Before you want to come for Chelsea, remember no, 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 I'm not coming that for problem him. was forced. It wasn't by that choice. Wait, so hold on. Let before 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 we go into this year, because this actually this led this leads back to one of my arguments I was having before we started the pod here, where I was saying, listen, look at the way. For example, when Ferguson came in, when Ferguson came in, um, came into us, how it was, but how before he came in. He didn't just come in and he and he went on winning and things of that nature. Like literally any good team that has had um um an accomplishment that we can say it makes them reputable or they have stature or a manager that has been part of their journey, whether it be like your Chelsea, whether it be your AC Milan, your Real Madrid, the whole the whole lot. They just no they don't always come in and hit the running. The fact that Chelsea had Marino coming and hit the running, I think that was just even just the, the environment was what enabled it. Because of the especially because that's when Abramovich was still, you know. Okay, okay. So you're saying that 
that between, to, between them three names, they can bring you back. I'm saying that, yeah. What I'm saying is that we don't know. Because even Pep didn't win when he first came into the city. That's Pep Guardiola. That's different. But you That's see, so you see, you, but you see what I'm saying though. Because Pep didn't win a Bayern. He didn't. We can't compare Pep to Command. No, things, but you see, but it, are you man not here? Are you man, even at um, Barca. Yeah, but I mean, Pep really had the experience Barca, before, before at Barca, we, we, But even at Barca, That was yeah. Pep's first proper job now, remember. At Barca, that was his third job. But at Barca, Barca, Bayern Munich, Man City, on, Man City was his third job. I'm saying Bayern Barcelona was his first. He was no, no, I'm saying but Barcelona being his first job, yeah. yeah. Mind you, even with that super squad that he had, that we can say, I think it's the best squad of all. Of all time, let's just finish, finish it there. Continue, yeah. With, with that, yeah, you get you, you, you what I had to scan the Madrid squad as well. Man. Milan, I'm you're saying that I'm thinking, I'm thinking Milan, man. Bassett, yeah, you have to be saying, you have to, you, have, you, have, you, have, you, have, you, have, you, have, you remember that what we were talking about that, that game, I first year, Bellu table, yeah, yeah, yeah. That table still upstairs, man. We still have to do it. That we are going to do it with that, uh, with those squads. We have to, we, but like, but on, on on the rules though, like, sorry, just sorry for interrupting. No. Barcelona, yeah, is on top, but we still have Real Madrid four Champions Leagues in a row when they had Ronaldo, Karim Benzema, and Gary Bale. I know, but like, but I, I said that Milan, that that Milan squad, Haba. Yeah, but Barca's Haba. midfield is better than this. Yeah, come on, Shabby and Yes, Sam. Shabby and Yes, Sam, Busquets. Let's just finish pull up, it there. Pull up that, because I can't remember off the top. I don't want to this, get it wrong. The AC Milan one. The AC Milan one. It was Gattuso, Sadoff, and Perlo. Oh. Perlo. Come on. Ah, come off it, Sam. Shabby, come off it. Shabby and Iniesta. Shabby, Good. Iniesta, and Gattuso, Busquets. Gattuso, Sadoff, and Perlo. Was not better than... It's Jesus Christ. Hey, <laughs> you people. Actually... Wait, what did you say? Who did you say? I said Busquets, Shabby, and Iniesta. And what then did you say? Just, just make sure that... Is, is no, that, that's, that was it. I'm telling you, I know it. Gattuso... For now, until this is Ancelotti's four one two one two as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ancelotti. Okay, if he knew, if he knows, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If, if if that said one, okay. Gattuso, Sedov, and Pirlo versus Busquets, Xavi, and Iniesta. Iniesta. Who is better? Tell me. You people tell us who is actually better because I don't even. That, that was high. Really? Me personally, I'm picking the Barcelona one because Xavi and Iniesta were just magical. Just, uh, in, see, it's, Xavi, yeah, but in, oh my god, Iniesta. What they did with the, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, I feel like I'll never see a play like Iniesta ever again. Xavi maybe, but Iniesta just no. And Busquets. No, you know, one I'll say, hands down, I'm never Busquets, going to, I'm not going to say another player like Busquets. No. no, 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 no. Ah, no. no. Rodri? No, he's not like him. I, I love Rodri. I, I, I love Rodri. I mind you, yeah. No, I, I can't. I'm a, I'm a, for DMs, yeah, I have a special love in my heart for, for, for DMs like that. But Rodri, he's still, he's, he's, I know he's the thing levels, is, he wasn't, still hasn't lost the game. His levels of, his levels away from Busquets. I know that, Busquets. but literally, when a player doesn't know how to lose the ball, it's a special talent. He does. He doesn't. They, he can only pass to his own teammates. He has never lost the ball like that. I'm just saying, you're never gonna see. Rodri it. lost the ball when we ball yeah. one. That's just hater. Yeah, you're a hater. But like, I know that. But come on, I just can't. I yeah, think. Just can't I think. See. Isn't Busquets not with Busquets passing accuracy on numbers? Not be up there with Cruises. Tony Cruz as well, guys. Like <laughs> Tony Cruz, Modric, and Casemiro. I oh hear that. Oh my god! Even that midfield. I hear that. Self was the score. Even but, but we can also uh, attest and say that's not better than uh, Busquets in your side. Uh, no, 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 no. Well, how well, we're sitting here and we're not. Wait, did Rodri, Bernardo, did Rodri, David Silva, and De Bruyne all play together? No. Oh god. That would have been terrible. <laughs> well, Bernardo Silva, David Silva, and Rodri. No, David Silva. De, De Bruyne, Bruyne and, and Rodri. Rodri, but they still, but don't get it twisted. They have Fernandinho, they, oh, him as well. They have Fernandinho, Davis, Davis Silva, and Kevin De Bruyne. So that one alone as okay. well. I would like to see Yaya, De Bruyne, and uh, Rodri. Ah, ah that was over. That. <laughs> God 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 is finished. over. You yeah. have one. You have one midfielder. You have your eight, real, yeah. you Rodri, have your real box to box midfielder. That's, that's the box. You have the one that defends the yeah, yeah the box to box. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have you have the one that defends the defense, and then you have Rodri. KDB. Your turn. The way you pass that ball, care. I love to that's see right, guys. At your solo. Ah, we haven't solo, but um, I even got sidetracked with the United one safe. But um, did you before we wrap up? Did you just watch the boxing? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Usyk and yeah, yeah. Do you see? There's apparently some. I don't know. I didn't don't see properly. The, I don't. Some people say he kissed a cross, but some people said he used an inhaler when he was in the corner in round eight. Who Usyk? 
I didn't see that. Yeah, apparently he got suspended. He got suspended apparently in June. He's, apparently he's getting suspended for June. Uh, no, he. I think he got suspended already for June. Until June. Now I saw it on TikTok now, so it might apparently, be yeah, apparently they said he broke his jaw. Yeah. But some people are saying because he got caught using a uh, inhaler. I didn't. I didn't see that still. But what? To be honest, right? That's Tyson Fury's first loss. In like how many years? That no, that's his first loss. That's but we will say that he also cherry picks his fight. That, can you can't can't you can't cherry you, pick your fights? You you can you can say no to fights. And then you get your belt taken off you. No, he's, I'm saying sort of if you look at when he's fought specific boxers yeah, yeah. and how and how he's waited before he fought, fought them. Even this Usyk one year, I promise you, if not because of the money that um it was Saudi. the Saudi the Saudis put down, they would not have fought it. Because that's the way he's done historically. Now the fight that he has no choice but pretty much to go and fight it because of the amount of money that was on the line here. Yeah, but like I think the plan the plan was right. The plan was for AJ to beat Francis and, and for Usyk Fury to, to be Usyk, Usyk and then both of them go they to Wembley still box. and then they can still box. still gonna be a rematch anyway in December. There's I a still, rematch clause. Yeah, think but you, I think I think he I think he after the fights AJ he should just stop man. I think Tyson should have didn't use his, his jab as well as I thought he would use it. Tyson, he didn't let his combinations go. I when I saw Tyson fall down there, I was yeah, like, when I saw him fall, I was like, the, the ref saved him. The ref had the bet. The ref I saved swear. him. But I'm, I just think he should stop, man. Who? Tyson. He should retire. He, he should have retired. He, he like, but he retired money. though. He has the money. But if, if you if you watch the documentary on Netflix, the guy just mentally he cast that box. box. He yeah, the I box. I hear it, but I'm just like. Money day. <laughs> it's like Ronaldo, realistically speaking, in theory. Ronaldo he should have done retire. what Cruz done. Retired as just one of the best. Ronaldo should just retire, like as well. Mm. Even Messi, sir. Yeah, Messi, Messi would try mm-hmm. retire. Messi, Messi doesn't need to retire because he doesn't run. All he does is give the ball to his feet. Keke, not Messi, but six Chica, Chica, people. Wait, didn't he not bring into Miami to the first cup? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Well, Messi barely runs. <laughs> he does use it. Messi <laughs> just dribbles past you. I can't remember how many goals he was even scored for them. My, my okay. friend, Messi's yeah. cooking. Well, that, well, that's his own thing. But let me put you. I think I, I can't remember if I said it or not yet in, in boxing because I think there's going to be an, a, a possible shift towards like more of the, the the lighter weights because there is more. There has been more of it. There's always been more. There's more talent players. on the lightweight now. Let me, let me tell you about this Japanese lad. <laughs> I think it's now we know it. Yeah, you know so. Now, now yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, pronounce me. So, so, so again. Say For, it again. Forgive me if I'm trying. I'll just go with your nickname, the monster. No, no, no. What did you say? First no. I'm just nah, going to say. Now we know it. Anyway, I'm just way. going to go with anyway. Yeah. He, don't say something you don't know how to say. It. I mean, that's how they'll try to say somebody's name, and they want you want say your bad name. They'll say A, and then they'll say Z. You know what? Yeah, next podcast when I want to mention his name again, I will, because I think he had a fight this um, actually pretty recently. But when I want to say his name, I will say it correctly. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry for the butchering. But that guy, yeah, ha, huh, tell me, just if, just watch even if it's even if it's compilation or his highlights that you watch it, just watch it after. I promise you, the guy literally and truly his what name. Way is he? I think it is. Is he on like Crawford? Is that his name Crawford? Terence Crawford? Is he on his one? Or I think he might be. One? I think he's the way below. So that's where Ryan Garcia and Tank and all of them, is it? I think so. I think that's his um, way. Because he's, he's going to be hard to get into that weight class as well and win. He's beating Tank. It's hard. I, 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 I'm telling you, if him and Tank is fight, I'm putting a mortgage on him to win. Mortgage. Mortgage. Mortgage, care. You pay. Against you, Tank. You lose, you lose, you lose. Ayo, my friend. Ayo. You lose your money plus interest. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Ayo. Tank. Ayo. Like, Tank is on top of that one, right? Then there's like, Lomachenko or something. Is that his name? No, yeah, he knew it. The monster. Do you know how again how wicked a boxer you have to be as well to be known as the monster? Yeah, I know. Okay, I hear it, but do you know the weight class he's going to? Like everyone thought Ryan Garcia ran mad, and he went to go and bull- bullet. What's his name? Haney. Yeah, but apparently he got. Um, to oh yeah, he got tested. I don't know what they're showing, guys. But look, we're clocking in. We're clocking out now. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'll show, show you more. If you made this fight, thanks uh. for watching. Remember, like, share, subscribe. And if you support Arsenal, <laughs> <laughs> there's a bottle always there for you. Anyways, guys, thanks for getting this far. And take care and God bless. Adieu. Ciao.